Hello everybody, we are back to some more King's Field with Bologna Panda. And looky here, we have this NPC. Before we talk to him, we're gonna use our crystal we just got. Water crystal. Sit right up. And we should have learned the poison. And this guy. Welcome Alexander, you must seek the truth. I will tell you what Seas and Gyra have created. And he basically tells me what each item do. Does. Like that. Yes, tell me what it is. This crystal recovers all of the chain statuses as well as MP and HP. Yeah, he'll, he will tell me what every item does if I bring it to him. That's pretty cool. We are going back to the village because I totally forgot of an NPC that lives here. Just gotta find them. Should be quick. Termite's nest, so he isn't here. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. This is Sandler and his mom. Quickly, quickly now. Snell, snell. Uh, door we can't open yet. Hurry, come on, come on. How about this house? Is this the guy we need to talk to? No, but I think this is the first chest that needs the pirate key. If I can just get in front of it. I think, I'm not sure, this might be the silver key. Yeah, that's the silver key. Oh well, I confused. I so confused. No biggie. How about you, house? Are you who I want? Yes, you are. I can make you something really valuable if you have crystals. So we want to get five crystal flasks. Perfect. Again, crystal flasks have strange powers. They can draw recovering water, but they can't draw regular water. So we can't make any more. We already we don't have any more crystals. But these take crystal shards, I believe. So I could And it says crystals, even though they take crystal shards, they should take crystal shards. That's weird. But it's fine, we have enough arrows for what we want to do. So five five flasks should do enough for us. I think that's it for this area. We now gotta return back to where we started. We're gonna do the pirate caves. We're not gonna continue on to the, the castle, I think it's the next section we could go to. But since we got the pirate's key, we can get some booty. 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 So we'll go back the way we came. It's weird, we're going down, but we're actually going up, I think. We gotta go up, unless I'm confused. Nope, we're going up. This sucks though. I have enough rhombus keys, right? Yeah. Normally, you shouldn't do that. There's a, a way to get through these doors without using up keys. And now, there's no archer there. Nope. We wanna... Go here, go to the fountain, fill out our flask with MP water. Yes. Quickly fill this up. We have so many flasks. We have six of them. And it'll be all MP water until we can get the last crystal for this place which is gonna be really soon this episode's gonna be a bit long we have a couple places we need to explore plus this takes a while okay I think there should be a, a place to drop off from here I think, yes. Just 
try to jump by the slimes. Okay, and we're back to the to this village. Oh, do I want to go up there? I don't think so. I'm not sure. That guy just sells herbs. I think there's an easier way to get back from one of those villages. It's fine. We're not too far away. Yeah, we're not far away at all. Oh, just don't poison me. Yeah, we're already at the place we should be. I shouldn't kill these. These are low level. Take a sip of water. And this will be our first pirate's key test, I believe. Yes. It'll be another flask. I'm not gonna fill it, fill it with healing water. We have a healing spell if we need healing. So, no. We're going to the save, save point before we do anything. Any monster we should kill? I'm gonna kill them just because it's fun. drop off here just because it's easier and save our game just in case level 15 already huh that's nice there's nothing in that one I don't know if I fought through that room but there's nothing in it either either okay I got around it without dying. Good. One more hit should do it. Perfect. And this will be the first door we open with our our key. Yes. I think this is yeah, there are skeletons here. We wanna change our weapon to the morning star. This will make Quick work of these guys. Two hits maybe? No. Wow. Okay, okay, we don't want to get trapped in there. Oh, shit, that was close. Okay, we want to heal up all the way. I thought they wouldn't be any trouble, but they clearly are. Here's our first skeleton trap. There's gonna be a lot of those traps. They open up when you step through a certain section, that's why you saw it open again. And I'm not gonna sprint because I don't want my stamina to deplete some of these chests should have skeletons in them so we don't want to open more than one at a time anything there? sometimes they have a skeleton and treasure no, this has a crystal the crystals are really valuable now two crystals will will make up a flask this is pirate's key, right? yeah I actually forgot to buy something back at the village. I think I'm gonna go back now. After this. Real quick. To the first village, not the... Not the last one. Another maze in case I didn't have one. Uh, three heads now, that's good. Make sure I check the walls. I don't know if there's any treasures in here. I don't think I've done this place much on my playthroughs. Oh, another skeleton fell through. I don't remember this trap. Oh, and these take four hits. But we got a dagger. Are these back? No. Whoa. I thought you weren't back, but you are. Gotta be careful of their two hit combo, mainly. If they get you with that, you're screwed. Yeah. 
I thought there were secrets here. I mean, there's an item that should be in this cave that I should have gotten. No, I guess not. I'm just dreaming. Oh well. Well, let's get out of here quickly. So that's, that's our first pirate key area. Which is okay. It's okay. <coughs> but now we want to go back, all the way back. And we don't want to use the Morning Star for anything but skeletons. Like human creatures, those plants, they're all strong against... against um, chopping attacks. I want to use slashing. For, for termites we want to use uh, piercing attacks. Stabbing attacks I think they're called in this game. Stabby stabby. Oh, we've done that. Is this the key maker? Oh, that's Al Hunt. We can't go in there yet. Al Hunt already memorized their names. <laughs> Sweet. I don't really need to take a sip of water. That's that lady that ne needs me to find someone who I haven't found yet. this area isn't it either. Might be the other town. I don't know, I haven't checked everything yet. It's the first area I went to. Nope, I went there. So... That's a graveyard. Yeah, it's the other town. Uh, it's this way? Yep. This way. <laughs> this video is gonna be really long. Really, really long compared to the others. Even longer than the termite video. Video. Nope, other way. No, I think it was there. Nope. Nobody can make keys in this island except for me. Okay. I'm gonna quickly buy the silver key. Oh, there's a crystal there. A crystal shard. Um... Where did I say there was a silver key chest? I already forgot. Uh, how did I forget so soon? I used the pirate's key there. The pirate's key in that one room. Who knows? Who knows? We used the pirate's key here. Yep. So, as, as you might have guessed from coming here, there's the big kraken over there. We're not gonna mess with it. But, oh, I, I didn't run to this part and show you guys the first way, first time around, so you guys actually don't know that there's a cave here with really asshole enemies with poison spit that will kill me horribly if I can't move out of the way. That was really horrible. Gotta wait for our magic to regen. This poison. Good. Oh, that was really bad. Could have died there easily. Good thing we got a spell now that gets rid of poison. 
And we got our first herb here. I think this is trapped. Yep. Dragon crystal. And I think we actually want to fall down here. Yeah, we actually do. I think we do. I'm not sure. Is there anything here? Nope. Where's this gonna take us? Oh, I remember. Yeah, we're back at the beginning. Another dagger, and this is the silver key, right? No. Wow. Well, that wasn't the silver key we needed. The chest for the silver key. Hey, hey, hey. Just die, please. Did I open this chest? Yeah. What? I think we passed it on the way and I didn't grab it because I didn't have the key. Oh well. So we're going back into this cave. Hopefully the snail didn't respawn. Hopefully. No, it did. Damn it. It wasn't in a bad position this time though. Why aren't you taking damage? Good boy. And we'll go up here. And be careful here not to fall off. There's three chests here. Well, as you can guess from me going for my morning star, <laughs> you can guess what's in these chests. And I really don't have to kill them. I just want to kill them for the experience. The experience, not the death. We don't want to die here. I didn't save earlier when I fell off the trap. And we got a pirate's map, which I could use to see where I'm going, but it's not that hard gonna save our game because this next part could be deadly so we see here there's a little island over there so we jump and we take a lot of damage but we'll heal it right up with magic isn't a big deal that guy was weak so we didn't need to change our weapon bones and the grave and here's where things start to get a little bit dicey <laughs> get it dicey there's little knives coming from the ceiling Is there a secret door to bypass those I don't think there is, but I might as well check like always. Yeah, I don't think there is. A grave, a grave, grave, grave. Okay, there's no items in the graves. Yes, we are now grave robbers. We're actually gonna run by those, which I hate this part. Yeah. <laughs> I hate that part. But we saved, so we can come back here and deal with that section again without much trouble. There's two enemies here now. Whoa! Killed the bottom piece first this time. That was weird. I don't want to do that. I really don't remember if there was a safe way to do it. Is there a safe way? No, I don't think so. 
think it's just a, a dash. Yeah. <laughs> just had to do it. There's a trap here, right? Yeah. Well, not a trap, just a skeleton that falls down. It's pretty clear. There might be a better way to deal with those slicing things that I don't know of. If anyone knows them, watches the video, please tell me. <laughs> All I know is to brute force them. Get some gold, some items. Nothing here. Looked like there would be something there. Uh, there's not always items where you expect them. There's a lot of antidotes here. Could mean there's a lot of poison things, but I don't think so. I don't remember there being poisonous creatures. There it is. Yeah, I don't remember there being poisonous creatures in this these sections. Is another one gonna fall down? Yeah. Sometimes they respawn, especially when it's a trap. Well, it's not really a trap because you can see it coming. Don't want to go downstairs or upstairs. Wow, the sound's going like really quick right now. Okay, this is a little bit difficult, I must say. Fighting three skeletons in a little room. Not something I want to be doing too much. We get one another bloodstone. Makes things worth it. Is that gonna be the pirate's key? Of course. And there's our much needed awesome item. The pirate's key. No, that's not pirate's key, that's... What's that called? The skull key. It's for another section we're gonna be going to pretty soon. That's why I said this episode's long. There's another area related to the pirates that we're going. I wanna do all the pirate stuff in one video. So there's gonna be skeletons in these ones. Well, some of them. Verdite! That's our first Verdite we ever get. That's gonna be, uh... It increases our magic by one point. But also sells for a ridiculous amount of money. Which... I don't think it's worth using. I think the money they give you is way better than the reward from using them. I love having magic, healing magic. Even though I bought all those earth herbs for an emergency. emergency. Okay, this area is done with. Let's try going down here. We find some more slimes and another trap door up there. I don't know if you fall down from that one. I think it'll open when I do that chest. No. Another morning star. They're just trying to tell you to use a morning star in this area. Message gotten. <laughs> and I keep not learning my lesson about fighting these. They're deadly. Okay, let's head down. Ugh. Man. That spell takes a really long time to recharge. But it should kill it in one hit. Yeah. Love that. Love that spell. It's a lot better than in Fireball and Wind Cutter. Cost more. 
going to open all the secrets and just keep moving along because there could be traps just don't stop moving and the traps shouldn't hit you got some gold I saw three of them open more gold and another crystal that's a whole flask we found here as we got two crystals that's gonna open again right no skeleton for once wow we came through this section right yeah I think I know where we are yeah back at the beginning I'm gonna kill these for the experience they're worth a lot more than fighting the the little guys we fight okay we already dropped off there we got the skull key so it's time to finish our our whole pirates quest by first more important than anything saving our game yeah it's a time waster but if we die we don't have to do the whole thing we already did so to me it's worth it like I said I'm not doing quick saves this time so we're not using them I'm only using them to restart the game after from one video to another so I can not go through the splash screen we could kill that Kraken, but I don't want to waste all my magic points and magic potions killing them. So we're not going to. Kill these Krakens. I'm not messing with those flies. They're annoying as fuck. I'm going to kill these skeletons. See how late in the game we would have gotten the knight's, knight's sword if we had waited until this point to come here? Would have been so late in the game. Wouldn't have been worth it. And we have to pay like a thousand gold to buy it. It's ridiculous. And that should open this. Good, good. There's one skeleton. Nothing here? Nope. Whoa, I didn't see that one. Three hits. Yep. And a level up. Ooh, water crystal. I think that's also gonna be a... A helpful... Not a... It's not gonna be an attack magic. I think it's breath that you learn from this. I don't know what that does. I've never found out what breath does. Then use magic. Resist fire. It's not breath. Breath is wind magic maybe? And we find our last stone for our fountain. That's about it for this area. Uh, we don't even want to go back to that section we were at recharge our magic we don't want to go back to the beginning of the game we're gonna come here and quickly where are we again oh right we're right at the this village okay I'm gonna end this episode here maybe no let's actually not in this episode here let's actually quickly do something that I don't know if it's what I'm supposed to do but I'm doing it showing what the whole reason for doing the pirates cave was for so we come here 
we go to the fountain and we have our last stone to place. There's three and this is the third one. Green water and we have our golden water which we will be changing our all our flasks to golden water eventually. As soon as I find the save point. That's Al Hunt's place. No. We're not gonna go through this. Waiting for my magic to regen. Yeah. This video is long. Gone long enough. Okay, so we're gonna end this one here. Again guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed going through the pirate caves. And killing some skeletons. And getting our fountain done. So until next time, I will see you guys later. Blue Panda signing out.